Welcome to sports. Hope you're enjoying what's left of your holiday. Well, the Grand Baba Gymnastics Academy has been trying to get boys in their program, and recently they gained the interest of a few. Let's go to Kimberly Mullings. A common misconception is that gymnastics is just for girls. Over at GB Gymnastics, O'Brien Parker has been the only boy in the sport for a while. However, he finally got some company. Coach Rico Thompson is excited to see the interest grow. I think it was about October, maybe November, uh, when we got some guys to come over from 8 Mile Rock High. They saw what was going on here, they saw the tumbling and um, they saw the possible strength benefits so they wanted to join and they came straight up to uh, one of our head coaches and was just like, hey, we want to do this. And um, so we got them in the gym, which was great for me because I, I, I'm a boy gymnast, right? I want my boys doing gymnastics. Um, and ever since they came in, they've been pushing to learn. You know, they're much older. Uh, you don't really start gymnastics at their age. They're in their 15, 16 year olds. Um, but they've been working pretty hard to catch up. So they ended up with three boys who knew nothing about gymnastics, just a few street tumbling techniques and flips. Coach Rico says the academy hopes to get the boys competing by the end of the year. We're not only offering gymnastics. You know, everybody loves to have fun, right? And everybody likes to feel like they're flying. And the thing about gymnastics is, or, or tumbling, I should say, flipping. Um, we teach the kids how to do basic stuff first. So we teach them a little basic strength and conditioning so that they can learn how to do bigger skills later on. Because it's really important to start with the fundamentals. So these boys came in here, they could barely flip, and now they're all over the place. You know, they're doing front flips, back flips. They're trying to learn twists now, which is really cool. These boys are among a new fleet of tumblers at GB Gymnastics. Thompson urges anyone who's interested, boy or girl, to visit them for more information. Being a Bahamian, you know, you grow up seeing a lot of people with these, you know, abilities and talents and strengths and skills that don't often get a chance to show that off, don't often get a chance to, like, make it better, don't often get a chance to use that. And I think this is a really good opportunity. We have a sprung floor here, so if you've never done it before, we, we will help you. You know, we have a couple of guys here, uh, and female coaches as well, actually, I should say, um, that we're willing to spot. You know, you ask a question. You want to learn something? Come on in. We're not going to stop you. Kimberly Mullings, Zed Nestle Sports. Turn out to soccer that the Paris Marina of High School Senior Girls Champions were crowned. Luganda National Lady Buccaneers defeated the Bishop Michael Eldon Lady Warriors 4-0 to score. Libby Wilson named the MVP. LIS has now won the Junior Boys title as well as the Senior Boys and now the Senior Girls. VMES won the Junior Girls title. On the primary school side of things, Freeport Primary Girls defeated Sunland 1-0 and Luganda National Boys over Freeport Gospel 1-0. Turning out of the baseball, the Grandmama Little League Baseball Championship play from the weekend because of the rain. Only the Buccaneers defeated the MSC Shippers 9-5. They won the Minor League Championship, two games to one, and congrats to the Bucks. Scores in the Big 3 basketball tournament over the YMCA gym. St. George's defeated Sister Mary Patricia Russell 21-5. Igmar Rock blasted Mary Star to see 35-17. Tabernacle over Bishop Michael Allen 25-19. Igmar Rock ground to St. George's 21-14. They pick up play on Tuesday. And grab on the junk well, J.J. Jones and the Connecticut Sun opened their WNBA season on Sunday with the 101-65 route of the Las Vegas Aces. John Quill only played 19 minutes and scored 7 points and 5 rebounds, 1 assist, trying to get herself into shape, having to miss the preseason. They'll play again on Thursday. They'll take on the L.A. Sparks. And the Ruby Golf is on the links, and Fenton Skillet Russell posted a 42 and collected 3 points. Hanford Bain with a 44. Hanford still leads the tour with 28 points, and Skillet Russell with 19.5. The Marcus Hill has got 19 points, and they are looking pretty good. Only 9 holes they play on a Monday and a Friday. Let's look at your sports. Have a great holiday.